Penang Island is known as Malaysia's melting pot full of unique flavors, cultures, and delicious food. In this video, I'm going to show you why Penang is so special. Hey everyone, welcome to Eat with Nala. My name is Nala. I love to eat and travel the world. We are in Penang, Malaysia, and we are getting some nasi kandar. I am so excited to show you guys this is one of Malaysia's most popular types of food. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Thank you. We are at this Nazi Kandar restaurant. It's a beautiful day outside. It's hot per usual. So I got beef, rice, cabbage, and boiled egg. The boiled egg just really adds something. You got to do it. Now, the traditional way of eating this is with your hands, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I brought a fork just in case, but at this point, let's get into it. And I got some tea ice. So it is tea, milk, and sugar. I don't know why I always prefer my tea cold instead of hot. It's just so much better. Mm. And it's just so refreshing. It's sweet. We're going to get some of the beef, the cabbage, and the rice all together. Mm. And if you saw how he was making my plate, the way they do the nasi kandar here is they like pour all the different curries. It's called a mixed curry. So you get so many different flavors. I want you guys to get into that beef. See? Mm. The beef has those little pieces of fat on it and it just mel melts in your mouth. It's extremely tender. By the boiled egg, mm, it just adds a perfect cherry on top. Especially that yolk. You get your egg, your rice, your beef. And it's just so good. I'm tasting something slightly spicy here and I love it. If you are a foodie and you love to travel, you need to put this on your list. And the curry is a tomato based curry, which I love. The richness and the acidity of the tomatoes it makes it almost sweet and spicy at the same time. It reminds me of African food and that's why I love it so much. As far as the tea goes, it's just the best thing ever. Something about the quality of the tea here is just different. I'm not even a tea person. After this, we're going to go find a traditional Malaysian dessert. So I'll see you guys at the next destination. Hey guys, so we are on the way to get some send off. It is a dessert made of rice flour jelly, coconut milk, and palm sugar syrup. I am so ready for this because it is hot outside. I'll see you guys when we get there. So look how she's shaving the ice down. And that is sweet corn. Red beans. Brown sugar syrup. I think those are rice flour noodles. And then coconut milk. That looks so good, doesn't it? Extra coconut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys. So it looks really similar to ice kachang. Let's see. Mm, that is so good. Ooh. Similar to the ice kachang, this has sweet corn, kidney beans, and rice noodles. It's almost like 
a dessert soup. And I love it because many of the desserts in Southeast Asia, they're not so sweet. It's more so refreshing. Like I'm not gonna be in a coma after this. So you get that crunch from the ice and you get the little pops from the corn. It's just so good. And I know beans may seem weird in a dessert, but something about it just works perfectly because they're so creamy. So when you bite into it, all these different textures, they just mix together perfectly. They were not afraid to put a lot of coconut milk in there, which I really appreciate. Cause I'm a coconut milk girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.